we need another swirl because I didn't quite see okay, it properly. Okay, okay, go, go. <laughs> oh my god, the hair flick. Guys, you know what? I was going to give it a lower score, but now that I've just seen the swirl, <laughs> it's just gone up. <laughs> This is a very special episode because this is our first female to take on the challenge. PSG and Canadian superstar Jordan Heitema. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having yeah. me. So I'm excited. excited. I know, I'm super excited. We are putting you in control of your own shoe and your <laughs> own wardrobe. Okay. Okay? Yes. We're going to give you three different occasions mm -hmm. from which you'll pick out some clothes from these rails and make an outfit to fit each relevant theme. Mm -hmm. We thought it was only right to start with Jordan's Jordan. Of course. We've seen on Instagram that you're a huge fan of Michael Jordan and yes. the Jordan sneakers, obviously. Yes. Okay. Now, this is the sort of thing where you've been dreaming about Jordans. You wake up and you're like, yes, I'm wearing those pair of trainers. So the whole outfit just goes around the trainers. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's talk a bit about the PSG and Jordan collab. Okay. Like, how yes. does it feel to be like at the forefront of it and repping in such a good way? It's so exciting. I mean, when I was younger, I'd always loved Nike and Jordan as like a brand. So to come to a club that that's like a big staple for it is so exciting. Everything to do with my number 23, I also like kind of chose it around so this. Good. So it like works really perfectly. Have you ever come across Michael Jordan himself? <laughs> no. No? I wish. Waiting for it. Yeah, still. Nike, if you're watching, I set me like, up. I feel like all we have to do is tag him, like surely he'll Could be you like, you imagine? Oh. Just DM him, be like, hey Mike. Oh my God. <laughs> so, like, Yo, you make my stuff so much. Like, oh <laughs> no, I wish. How old were you when you bought your first pair of Jordans? I was probably like 15. I'd like saved up and you know, like when you save up all your money and then you finally yeah. get to go to the store and you like have this exact pair you've had in mind for like oh a long, the longest time. I remember I was so excited. I think it was like some sort of uh, Jordan 1 and that I was, was just sick. like so excited. It was a high top. It was like, Oh yes. my God, I love high tops. Jordan 1 high tops are my favorite. Yeah. Like, if I'm... you don't like them, then you're just wrong. <laughs> What other trainers do you like? Or what are your like top like favorites? Uh, I love Air Forces. Same. Love them. Like the different colors, different yeah. styles. Any kind of Air Force, I'm 100% down for it. And they're so comfortable. Uh, I also like Vapor Maxes as I'm wearing now. Yeah, they're very um, cute. And these were kind of like the gateway shoe for me yeah. into like different okay. styles of like Nikes, like, okay. Air, like Air Forces and Air Maxes, yeah. whatever. Also, yeah. um, Dior high tops, the, you know, the yeah, yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, I have my first pair of them and I absolutely love them. Like, Sex. I got stepped on one time in like a grocery store. I was so upset. I literally just like stood and stared at my shoes for like five minutes and just like didn't know what to do because some person just like backed into my foot. Look one, Jordan's Jordan. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's, let's do, do this. Okay, I've got to go for these ones. Yeah, I would have got so, those as well. I can hold some for you as well if you want to like. Yes, please. The white ones would be amazing. Cute, right? Yes, with that, with cropped, with this. Yeah, okay. nice. So, what's the crop top? I haven't decided yet. Okay. We're, we're making our way. You know, with like the black True. and this, you know? Touché. Because then this is so huge, but then it's so cute because it's like a little top crop. underneath, you know? Yes. With the trainers, right? I think we found it. Do okay. You, this? you got it? Yes, this is the outfit. You look. Amazing. Thank you. Yes, I love it. I love yes. like all the patterns and like yes, the different I love the textures. textures. We're on the same page. Right? Yes. But I'm not a professional. I know. Carlotta. Hi guys. Hello. Thanks for having Good. me. <laughs> and you? And you. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. Like you guys were saying, I love the texture. I love that you've got a bit of your stomach out too because it breaks up, especially with such a big, yes. heavy jacket. And also the Jordans. Thank There's you. a couple of things that I would say. I think that you could have played with the accessories more. It's like quite a heavy outfit, so mm -hmm. you could have put like a pearl clip with it, a little diamante belt to like, you know, feel it, put All some right. gold hoops with it. Also, there's this one, yes. which I was so actually first, cute. just to go with the shoes. Or if you were going to do that crop That's top, nice. I maybe would have gone for this bomber, because it's got the oh, red nice. in it, cute. and the red nice. and the white. Very yeah. cute. But do you know that. what? I'm not going to lie. You have nailed it, and I'm just being pedantic here. I love, that, these little things. I love those ideas. What would you rate this out of ten? I've, I mean, I feel like we need. <laughs> yes. I feel like we need another swell because I didn't quite see okay, it properly. Okay, okay, go, go. <laughs> oh my god, the hair flick. Guys, you know what? I was going to give it a lower score, but now that I've just seen the swell. <laughs> it's just gone up. <laughs> so 
I'm going to give it a solid 8.79. Wow, Ooh, that's pretty good. Yes, that's that is really, that's better than I thought Amazing. I'd get. But do you know what? It's not a 10, no, so I've got to work hard. Okay. And I'm excited to see <laughs> what we're going to have, okay? Outfit number two. Yes. So this is going to be date night. What sort of like dates do you guys go on? It depends. The date varies because Sometimes we won't see each other for like three months oh and then we'll do something like a little bit more intimate or like at home, like something small, like um, we're planning on like building gingerbread houses coming up, oh things like that. Oh my God, that's so yes. cute. Yes. And then sometimes when we see each other like every week, it will turn into like bowling or like, we're even planning like this little video where we do like soccer competitions against each other. Oh yeah, he has like a tech ball table in his backyard, so we'll always that's play sick. against each other or like two touch. Um, but yeah, we're always competing. Has there ever been a moment where it's got a bit too intense competing? Okay, got a bit carried away. This is gonna sound bad, but when we were bowling, so he was like beating me by so much, like it was oh ridiculous. God. And he, we'd accidentally switch turns somehow. I don't know how it happened, but he started bowling for me and I'd started bowling for him almost. Yeah. So he didn't notice and I noticed. So I just like started throwing it in the gutter because I was like, I'm getting you zero points. And then he kept getting strikes. So oh then by the end of God. it, I'd won. And he's like, how did you win? Like, I was doing so, and I was like, I'm just really good. Obviously you spend a lot of time in Munich and Paris. Yes. Like, do you have one that's like, you prefer? They're so different. Like, yeah. Shopping in both places is really cool. I honestly prefer Paris for like the shopping or getting out and just doing like a like a daily activity where you're just like going out to the town and seeing the city. Also, I love Paris because I love the Eiffel Tower and like when it sparkles like that is just something that not a lot of people know about and like on the whole hour it will sparkle and it's just absolutely gorgeous and like we went on a date one time in Paris when we went for like dinner and then we walked to the Eiffel Tower and we literally just like laid on the grass and it was really late at night and it just like we sat there and watched it like sparkle and like that's what I love like I'm more of like the romantic one. Paris is so romantic. Do you ever steal clothing from Alphonse's wardrobe? Oh 100% <laughs> like half of the clothes in my closet are his clothes oh and like God. sometimes I'll even go to Munich with like an empty suitcase and then I'll just take clothes and then bring it back to oh Paris with me. Because like his, he's like a little bit bigger than me. Yeah. So all of his clothes fit me perfectly like oversized. Oh, so it. it's just like all of his hoodies, all of his jackets. Oh my God, hoodies the one. Like pants, okay, I don't touch those yeah. or whatever. But hoodies and jackets, I just like love wearing yeah. them. And they like, oh, it's amazing. So sometimes things go missing and he's like, do you have? And you're like, Honestly, like he has on so many clothes. I don't think he notices. Like if I take one of his favorite things, he'll yeah. be like, hey, like, that's mine. And I'm like, what? No, like, it's mine. But like, I'll steal like small things and he won't notice. Yeah. And I'll generally bring them back after a while once I'm bored of them, but. Oh my God, love yeah. it. <laughs> love it. Okay, so, you ready? You ready for this? What yes. are you gonna choose? Elevated date night. Oh, I like that moment. Yeah, that's I cute. Like that. All right, I had to just figure out what that was for a second. So shirt's done. Yeah. The black, this. Okay. Oh, shoot. Cute. The blazer. Yes, love. To pull the blazer back in. Yeah, I love it. And we're gonna accessorize this time. Do you usually wear like silver or gold, or does it gold. depend? Gold. I might well. go for the dainty necklace because it's a little bit cute. Can you pick it up? Okay. And then I gotta get new earrings because I just have gold stuff on. I mean, I'd go for the figure, but this is not about me. <laughs> Either ones would look amazing, though, I think. I Try on different ones. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. I wanted to wear these so bad, so I literally just. Yeah, they're so wanted sick. To wear these. <laughs> they're so sick. Okay. Perfect. Yes, yes! I love this! A little bit fancier. I love the accessories. Yes, we did better on that. That's what I learned right. from last round. Yes. Okay. Colossa, come in. What do you think? You've already oh, taught me girl. so much, so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I do love what you've done with this outfit. Look at all this colour. We've got the gold running through it. We've got the creams yeah. and browns. And I love the detail as well on the back of this jacket. Yes, it's gorgeous. If you have a look at all these buttons that do yeah. up. I would have maybe gone with 
this chunky Dior necklace okay. instead of the thinner one. Okay. Just because you've got big, you've got thick hoops on, which are really yeah. nice. You need like a chunky thing to kind of balance out the belt okay. too. I would have maybe gone for a different pair of trousers. Okay. Not gonna lie, mm -hmm. but I don't mind them. I just don't really think the length work. Worked. Yeah, I didn't really know that until yeah, I got you in the closet. You know what, you excuse, that's okay. <laughs> but do you know what, I think you've done really, really well. I'm gonna give you a 7.7. .7. Okay. No, wait, that's really mean. I don't no. mean 7.7. 8.7. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean 7.7 or 8.7? 8.7. I don't mind the 7. Which is a little bit low because I okay. love the first outfit, but I think the final one is going to be the one. Okay. And I'm hoping to give you a 10. So we're through with the date night outfit. Yes. Number three is homecoming. Okay. Okay, so we're basing it around the festive season. You haven't seen your family for a while. You don't okay. want people to forget about how much amazing style that you have. <laughs> so you need to make an impression, but it's still going to be like cute and festive. And, and warm like, because it's yes. freezing in Canada. Cozy, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so what makes Canada such a special place, do you think? That's such a hard question. I feel like, what's wrong with Canada? Like, there's right. nothing. Like, yeah. When I think of it, I just think of, like, home. Like, it's where my family and my friends and everything is. And I know it's cheesy, but, like, just the feeling of freedom. It's just, like, what you have when you're in Canada. And it's just, like, I feel like it's the country made for me. Like, I'm more of an outdoorsy, like, mm. very tomboy girl. Yeah. So to live in Canada, it's really, really special. Because um, it gives me a lot of chances to do just things that you can't really do in other countries, mm -hmm. which is really, really amazing. And, yeah, it's just... For me, more so, it's just home in general. So it's just like where my family and friends are. What was like the football landscape in British Columbia when you were growing up? It wasn't amazing for females like growing up mm. in Chilliwack. It's like such a small town that there's not a lot of girls that are wanting to play. And when it is, it's like not a super high level. Mm. So growing up, I actually played for boys teams and like That's boys sick. a year older or like things like that because it was just like, I wanted to push myself. Um, so I was actually the first female to ever play with a boys team in That's Chilliwack. That's amazing. Yeah, so that was really cool. Oh my God. And um, the technical director when I was there, his name was Glenn Wilson. And I think he still is uh, the TD of Chilliwack. And he really opened all the doors for me to wow. like become and like play with the boys and just like the weird looks that I got from like parents and everyone. like. Especially in away games, like mm. teams from the other like side, they'll be like, who's this? Why is there a girl playing with us? Look three, homecoming. You're going to see the fam. It's freezing. It's going to be cozy and cute. Mm -hmm. What would you wear? <sighs> <sighs> All right. I'm really, these are really speaking to me. I think they're good. They're the first ones you picked I up. Should I just go with my instinct? I think so. <laughs> yeah, I'd honestly wear a crop with it. Yeah, okay. That's normally what I would wear, but it's winter, so that's what's throwing me off. But you could wear a crop with the and a big warm coat. I want to see how this looks. Is it, is it too much green? That's, that's... I don't think it's too much green, but I'm not the professional. <laughs> clearly, and I'm not helping. Clearly, I'm not helping. I've got an 8.7s. <laughs> I'm not doing too hot. Okay, let's keep this. It's cute. It's a bit warmer. It's true. Got some shape, shall I feel it's belly. a little bit cropped. Cute. More cropped. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so one of those, <laughs> these. I yes. love this. Okay. Also, it's very like, yeah, imagine you're in the snow. Yeah, I'm just doing amazing. Oh, I made mm. oh, I'll go the off whites. Okay. 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 Nice. Okay. Done. Right, time to try it on. Okay, guys, so look number three, homecoming. Get over here. Here we go. You look great. Yes. Yeah, it's a little bit cozier. I'm definitely more of like a cozy, chill person when I go home. So. Yeah, I love it. You feel comfy? Yeah, definitely comfier back in the sweatpants. Fantastic. Okay, so Carlotta, how do you think she did? What's her rating? You look like a green little cookie monster. Yes. <laughs> um, no, but I'm so glad that you went for that jacket. Yes. Because it's a loud jacket. It's ambush and Nike. So just turn around and show everyone on the back of it. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It's love. so pretty. But yeah, I was a bit scared that you wouldn't go for it because it's quite a bold statement. Yes. I love, love, love that you went for it. I think okay. that speaks volumes about you <laughs> and how you're willing to push yourself. So it's great. I love the whole colorway. Love the shoes with it. I love how there's the teal, the kind of green running through the shoes yes. too. And I don't actually have anything to say about it. Stop. Stop. Okay, maybe one thing actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I love this outfit, but the one thing that I would do is put Yes. 
The white mm. pants. Love those. These, maybe with the Air Force or a pair of Jordans. Mm. I said the exact same. She just came out and she's like, Okay. <laughs> I feel like should put the Air Forces with it. So, what is the maximum score? So, it's out of 30, right? So, it's out of 30. Okay. First Wait, one was 879, second was 87? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Third one. The third one, I'm going to have to give you a 9.9. .9. What? Yes. Wow. Only because you used that jacket, and that has literally okay. shot you right up, and you've absolutely <laughs> smashed it. So, well done. Amazing. Round of applause I for like you. What number's going on your star report card? Are you good at math? So you've got a 27.39 out of 30, which is pretty banging. 91% and that gives you an A minus. Yay! Well done. Yay. Love it. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye.